is up y'all it is me tasha c and today's particular video um i'm talking about little yachty and the situation which happened in the last week okay this is kind of like my first video talking about little yachty he was popular at from georgia i think but like particularly i don't know for sure with the atl area but he came like around what 2015 to 16 whatever right and over this past weekend, he went to expose one of his former artists and, you know, allegedly might be something else, but, you know, I don't, really, I don't know for sure. Okay, but what I'm saying is he went to expose Niles' former artist, which just a month ago, even though she left, it was all good terms. And, you know, or she left and he was just like, you know, leave it on. Then it's another damn, um, um, thing with his best friend whatever he's like f the couch f the place they had a podcast and i kind of had a snippet when i had like did no thing do do uh oh, do drop him off in this whole thing where he left he was popular streaming i found out who had these leaked messages and was like everybody if, if this this person this stuff that came out so that's the only time i brought up little yachty before but this it was just a lot that went on the weekend there's some other stuff that came up and about like a possible kissing cousin and i'll explain that later on in the damn video like there's a lot going on y'all there's <laughs> a, a lot of topics coming left and right i mean 2024 one of the main things is the year of exposure or things coming up to light you know what i mean you know you, um i i i can't i i i, I can um I have so much to say. Sorry, y'all. It's seven some in the morning, you know. And um, like I said, sorry, it seemed like a random. But yeah, let's get on, y'all. About to, of course, do it'll be like two minutes to be able to speed through where I do my advertisements for both my sister, my sister named Nick, with Nina's Kitchen. With you know, advertise going and subscribing to YouTube channel. You know, it's free ninety nine, and also getting some wonderful candles. You want know, creativity, and, uh, and of course, like you know, everything from sound therapy, Reiki therapy um so i hope i'm saying this is sound perry us uh, sis jayla oh don't forget to try our candles but like i said y'all i'll see y'all in a bit i'll see y'all very soon with this because this 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 is gonna be an interesting video okay y'all quick little announcement or little pro uh, promo um don't forget to like subscribe my sis channel nini's kitchen this is a little preview you know you'll know what it is you're going to check over on that besides sis, we waiting come on sis for you to post a new video but encouragement y'all go check out her channel nini's kitchen with a z um she would do the mukbang, she would do storytelling, you know, blogs, etc. Just real quick, but like I said, shout out to my, my sis, you know. Y'all go ahead and, and subscribe and so forth. You can get likes just, um, from everything, even down to like, uh, probably some, some vids about some edibles. But you won't know unless you subscribe. It's just, we waiting, we waiting. And also, don't forget to follow her now. She'll eventually have like more uh, social media and stuff like that. Um, but for now, this is her, this is my uh, Nini's Kitchen. You see right here, Nini's Kitchen with four, seven, 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 seven. seven and don't forget to subscribe but okay sis we waiting on you <laughs> all right what is up y'all here if y'all looking for some wonderful high top quality candles also something maybe to like the movie stuff then go ahead and go to lightmove.com and get you your candles this is um this girl founder co-creator and open business that's jayla self-esteem queen i'm trying to get her on youtube too but like i said you get candles everything to being creative overcoming the society and so forth she also offers such services as reiki healing sound healing and so forth in person and also over the, the i think over the liner and or over the phone but shout out to jayla self-esteem queen likes the top of candles for example they smell divine i have pop light whoever but anyway y'all get y'all candles today again her website is lockthemoon.com by jayla self-esteem queen all right i'm out Okay, y'all, it is my third time trying to record this. Or if you read the game, Google that up. One of the main things is that mental technology and stuff, but this. Okay, I go give up, try again. We said I had to start the whole thing over. But first, we're going to get into like with the caribou, you know, right before the stuff happened. And then a little bit about Middle Mitch, and then we go to the live, and then we take it there. But, um,. It was all somewhat semi good just a month ago when this group, which is like a um, is another like little yachty project. Now this group came out last last year, 
um the group artist which was formerly known as caribou i don't know if this group is going to continue now especially with the pluckery the uh the, you know like who yachty basically like if everything at the moment um especially caribou so or if you don't get a replacement i i don't know a uh, camo dc2 drill and draft drave and kunu yachty were the people uh, people involved in this latest group caribou was kind of like i said i might have said it before i don't know i don't care after trying to record this for the third time <laughs> i'm trying to make it and it's thunderstorming outside okay so i already waited but anyways if you go to the instagram where some people started the site starting those caribou is gone um and then there was a video where it was just last month a little yachty addressed it but even though he was saying it was his last time talking about it uh it, it last um after with this we're gonna go on this clip real quick where he's basically saying like yeah you know it's true we ain't together world, but i wish you the best uh well it was all good just semi good i guess um just a month ago even though truthfully the group hasn't been out that long for what barely at least like as far as getting out there like a year and um and this didn't happen so it's kind of like what is going on here hmm. well let's hear Lil Yachty's more peaceful response and then we'll go from there I don't want to say this. I'm going to say this shit one time, right? We uh, have split ways with Kara as far as this concrete shit. Um, I don't have nothing. I have nothing to say, nothing bad to say, nothing negative to say um, about Kara. I wish her... Um, the best in her career. And, um, yeah. Um, that's that, you know? Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything, anything really bad to say or anything good to say. We just split, you know? And um, I wish the best for Kara in her career. So, yeah. I, I, I would never, I'm never gonna speak on it again. So that's it. Okay, y'all, sorry, it might be a little bit off with the, um, with the volume or the start and bringing back the, uh, me talking. Oh, y'all work with me here. But anyway, surprise, surprise, it ends up that, um, a after you got Lil Yachty say, like, they cool, um, we get text messages that started coming up with, um, was from a fan. They, you know, end up coming, well, based on a fan, I don't know if I'm going to be able to input it or put it in the video, who had a text that came up on X Twitter, uh, Twitter X, uh, letting me know that she her, she was at a job and Caribou stopped by and, um, you know, to get some, some cheddar biscuits. You can't go on with cheddar biscuits from Red Lobster. Um, well, most of the time you can't. Um, so she explained to her, you know, was like, you know, it's sad that they, uh, uh, you know, that the group and we miss you type of thing. And Caribou gave her testimony, whatever, and said some comment. And then that that was, I guess, like a lot of these glass straw. Um, after we do a little quick read along with these, uh, this state with these little text messages, then we're going to get to the part a little about mix and then go into the live. Okay, 
Okay, okay. Here's a mute moon safe segment about you know when caribou came in, you know, to the workplace, whatever, right? Now, bro, she walked into my job. Uh, Red Lobster. Order, you know, of course, some historical cheddar biscuits. I want some cheddar biscuits. Yeah, that sounds big bag, but I don't care. I haven't had them in a while. Okay. And I asked the watch to left, and she immediately corrected me and said, I didn't leave. You know, that's what little Yachty y- 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 said. They kicked me out saying I was really mean. Uh, 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 really mean. I was saying they were, I mean, oh, oh they were saying, she corrected me, kicking my, uh, saying they were really mean to her. And bullying her a lot. And she doesn't talk about it because it won't I guess when it won't make a difference. Or I don't know what half means. Okay, to me and say, she seemed really hurt behind this TS, TSA. I am about to Google what them little abbreviations mean in text messages. Like, uh, like, like she really did, uh, they really did her dirty. And I believe it's because her name was the biggest behind yacht, little Yachty. If we're being real, I only started listening to him again because of her. They're haters. And I told her she'd just be fine without him. Look. And in response to someone was like, oh, Evan G. So they were being fake towards her? Oh, bro. Oh, I, I kind of read it wrong. But would you get my point? I really just wanted to make sure what the statement she said Caribou had said to her. And somebody was saying, I mean, you know, brought up, because I guess this was somebody to screenshot, you know, her statement. Okay, that's, uh, that's the first part. Okay, now here's the second response, uh, uh, part or third text post, whatever the moon was saying. Now, somebody by old money saying, on what was this um last thursday august the 22nd um i see why caribou left and they respond back like she personally told me i don't oh maybe they respond back okay what <laughs> like i said okay i'm probably reading this out of sync now she personally told me out of out of her own mouth they kicked her out they all fucked the people and they were bullying her. She didn't leave. They kicked her out. Two Trill was the only person that had her back. Is which is why she only follows them. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't pay attention whether they on un- or un- unfollowed. I just kind of went by, seeing it kind of pop up because she left. Uh, people started noticing. I guess the certain events in the little yachty statement, and before this happened last week. Okay. Now, on the same the same time, though, um, same day, oh, this is what Caribou says, kind of confirm, confirming what that, you know, her fan was saying at the Red Lobster, at the Red Lobster, whatever. I don't say too much because I know shit's going to unfold on its own. Well, she was right about that more ways than one. And she said, this aged well. Okay, well, let's... He tried to yap less and shit and try to get on, like, explaining a little about the myth thing and then, you know, get to the, the expose live, I guess. Okay. Like I said, Yachty and Mitch, obviously, Yachty, this is supposed to be one of his homeboys back in the day that's his best friend that I don't know if they usually roast each other to the show or whatever but the podcast you know like I said they, they, they've been clips like been shown like I said like in like popular some popular driven topics um and they have like had guests in this show based on like a thumbnail that I seen like you know showing like you know a clip, you know, a clip, you know, thumbnail clip, picture clips, 
of um they like shows and they had like from everybody from like of course like like i said kai sanet and um like j cole and so forth but one of when this all went down when young yadi like i said i don't i don't know does he usually roast this boy or this is something new what's going on here all i know is is that he went off on this boy um kind of like like i said shit talk or maybe it was like we're just playing it and that became like trending or like you would say like on, on certain people like dang like okay yeah you've been there man uh you been uh I but I made this safe, you know, this podcast for you because basically you weren't gonna do shit. I decided to help your ass out because you weren't gonna, you ain't gonna be shit. You weren't gonna do shit type of thing. It was like, what the hell? And based on Lil Yachty in the upcoming live, Tim and Live, I may speed it up or not. It's basically was like, okay, you could have stopped them from people saying something because they make me look like I'm just some asshole, whatever. When it really wasn't that big thing but it was kind of weird like you got you know guests there whatever which they didn't bring up because Lil Yachty is not a I don't know he I don't think he smokes or drink and well I mean so so drink like not even just like when you know squares nothing but I don't think he smoke weed nothing neither and it was just like when I was looking for information I didn't bring this up but it was like he got his first person that F it and started sparking up and Lil Yachty, I, I, whether he didn't really or really didn't say anything or not, but some people like, okay, you got all this shit for Mitch talk shit to suppose allegedly your boy, but um, you was saying about Keek lying, you lying in your house and you don't even smoke, whatever. I, 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 I don't know. Okay, uh, like I said, let's get into this clip and um, um, go from there. Well, actually, no. I'm going to go ahead after seeing this infamous um, clip um, people talking about and just go right ahead and go straight to the live. Because after that, because Mitch didn't stop supposed response, Blue Yachty feels so sensitive. Now the way he felt now mad at Caribou for getting out of South Put online or being weird or whatever. And um, at the same time, coming as boy Mitch and going so far as like say F everything and this supposed to be his birthday and something he upset alright so I know I'm right so I'm what's okay. up okay, okay, cool. come on. so let's go back to 2015 we was at my mama's house right <laughs> I'm at my mama's house now Mitch is like 2-3 years older than me alright now Mitch came to me and for many years you didn't just start making beats by the way you've been making beats since who knows how long you've been making beats for a very long time alright and up until, how long have we been doing this? Okay, so up until about maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago, what, what you spent a lot of time trying to find your steps. Right. Right, but so that's to sit my make, point. No, 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 no. Imagine if you didn't have a friend who was already extremely successful to help you get on your feet. A lot of people don't have that. So what I'm saying is, how, what do you say? Because you didn't want to get a job. I never even suggested you get a job because I knew you wouldn't get a job. So what do you say to a who like, hey, I see a with a shiny watch. I got a gun, a dusty gun. It's going to take a shiny watch. You know what I'm saying? What do you tell it? I wouldn't, I'm not going to I'm not gonna encourage it, but you got to think about people got I, families. What I'm telling you is it's shit you can tell it. Bro. What? Like even what? If, even if, what but, I'm but you think about yourself, but listen, but No, no, listen, no. Even if then, say, that's, what I, that's the point I'm trying to make to you, bro. What point? Even if then, if I wasn't doing shit righteous then, older now. So I would not tell it. To do yeah, anything like you, I was doing back yeah, then, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's what I'm trying to tell that's you. That's fine, but you—that's because you've been through—you've been through years of 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 development. But that's the point of it. So I can. So when, I'm saying, that's the you, point. But think about. Remove me from this situation. Remove me. I was never in your life. What the fuck would you have been doing? Who? I feel like you might have been doing that shit. Who knows what you would have been doing if you ain't if if you ain't having to show you. What are you saying, bro? I'm saying that what you're saying is not. It's not. You're not, you're not, like, it's not true. You wouldn't tell him, hey, man, just go get a job, man. No, I ain't saying, I ain't saying, no, that's not what I said. I ain't so saying I was telling him to just go get a job. I ain't say that. I said I would. Say, look. Sick as hell, fucking throwing up and shit. Fuck all up. I'm so sick and tired of helping people, bro. Look. I'm so, I'm so sick and tired of helping people, bro. All I done ever did was help people, nigga. 
from goddamn this whole Kara shit to this Mitch situation online. Try to talk some uh, Lil Yachty disrespecting his friend. I'm gonna start with Kara, right? Cause right now I'm on some fuck everybody type shit. Yeah, nigga, fuck it with me. Uh, nigga, all I ever did was help Kara. Nigga, Kara, if you wanna tell this shit, tell the whole story. Go ahead, tell people how you verbally abuse people. All right, don't get on here and make it seem like niggas kicked you out. Like niggas kicked you out cause uh, bullying you? Bro, go ahead and tell people how you talk to people. How you tell my security guy, oh, you homeless, oh, you work for me, oh, uh, we are, uh, we, you ain't got no, you're poor, and uh, we above you, and how you, you talk to people like they nothing. You talk to people like they, like they small, like they, like they beneath you. Bro, bro, bro. Tell people, tell people how, tell people how you verbally abuse people. How you told me you gonna spit on me when you see me. Tell people how you talk to people, bro. How you, how, how you, how you, your brain is clinically imbalanced, bro. How you disrespect people. How you, how you go around treating people in your everyday life. I've been letting you do this whole thing where you act like you like a princess and you sweet and you know like, oh, you just such a good girl. Bro, stop the front, bro. We didn't, internally we have withheld your actions since the beginning of me giving you this career. What are we talking about, bro? What the fuck are we, what, yo, what the fuck are we even talking about, bro? You don't even do nothing. You, what the fuck? Yo, bro, it's so crazy to me, bro, because I fucking, I, I, I've given you a career, and time to time, you just disrespect me. I wrote every fucking verse you've done. I addressed you. I dressed all five of y'all niggas, bro. I dressed five niggas every time we stepped out the house. I put an outfit on everybody. I put eight carat earrings in everybody ear. I put three chains on all y'all neck. We bought a Cartier watch. I gave you that chrome Rolex. Bro, you the most, you, you was watching tables. You was, you was, you was, you was waiting. What are we talking about, nigga? I changed your motherfucking life. And you over here lying, talking about some we bully you? That shit got me fucked up, right? You got me fucked up, bro. You disrespectful, bro. You talk to people crazy. You tell people that they are nothing. You tell people you gonna spit on them. You, you tell people they poor and you talk to the you talk to my fucking label crazy. You claim I was stealing money from you. Bro, stealing money from you how, nigga? Stealing money from you how, bro? You ain't made no money, bro. See, this is a problem with you new artists. Y'all fucking, y'all get popping online and then you become more popular than your actual music, right? You $900,000 in a hole and I got every fucking receipt, nigga. $900,000 concrete in a hole. I got every fucking receipt, nigga, and I'ma post it. I dare you try me. Try me, I'ma post it, nigga. And I'll post how much money your fucking streams are made. You got, bro, stop, don't, don't go on the internet and act like I'm bullying you, bro. I've been nothing but loving and caring and paid your bills and gave you money and, and, and took you around the world. And nobody would even know who the fuck Caribou was if it wasn't for me. What are we talking about, bro? What the fuck are we talking about, bro? I wrote that fucking verse when we went on On The Radar. I put you last on purpose so everyone would say, who the fuck is that girl? I slowed the beat down. I put 808 specifically on your verse so when it got to your part in the beat drop, everyone would be like, oh, the, the girl is the craziest one. I wrote that verse the night before we even went to On The Radar on my phone. Bro, I typed, I, I, I got the voice, I got the fucking reference. What the fuck are we talking about? You ain't never, you ain't never wrote no, no, a song in your life. That's why ain't no music came out since you've been left. Cause you ain't got no music. Cause you can't rap. What are we talking about? And I wasn't gonna say nothing. On my mother's life, I was gonna let you go live your life and go get a new writer and go get a stylist and go do you. I wasn't gonna speak on you, but you gonna go on the internet and say that I bully you? Kara, I've never bullied you. I let you live in my house for free. You lived in my house for free when you didn't have nowhere to live. I let you live in my house. I let you live in my house for free. I let you live in my house for motherfucking free when you was disrespecting my home security and telling them that they that they beneath you and that they better shut the fuck up and watch this house because they work for you when they work for me. Same way you talk to people at the label, same way you talk to the touring person, the touring manager, which I have every receipt on how you talk to people in group messages. I don't give a fuck, bro. I, I, I got, I, daily, I deleted Instagram and Twitter off my phone, bro. I don't even own this shit. I, I've been asleep for 17 hours, bro. I went to sleep at 2 a.m. I woke up at 7 p.m. Sick, throwing up, I'm throwing up right now. I swear to God, throwing up right now, bro. Fucked up, and you on here, you got me fucked up, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. They couple hours before my birthday, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. I ain't never did nothing but be nice. I ain't never did nothing but be there. I ain't never did nothing but love you. Brought you around every rapper, any rapper, bro. Who? I brought you around everybody from Baby to Drake to, bro. I put, I get, I, I, I put you on. Stop doing. Come on, bro. I'm completely sober, bro. Y'all got me fucked up, bro. 
<laughs> Come on, bro. We not gonna we not gonna act like bro. Like like I'm crazy, bro. I was you was my best friend, bro. Like, come on, bro. I made sure I gave you this career. What are we talking about? What the fuck are we talking about, bro? Not to this Mitch situation, cause Mitch got me fucked up. Y'all don't want to talk about some loyalty bully, uh, disrespecting his friend in front of Key Glock. Bro, I didn't even want to do a podcast, bro. I swear to God, I didn't want to do no podcast, bro. I didn't want to do no podcast, bro. I didn't, I didn't, that, I, bro. Mitch came to me like, bro. I need to do something in life. I need to do something in life. Help me out. I said, ah, right, you know what? I'm going to give you a platform. I'm going to find someone to sponsor us. And I'm going to give you a platform. We're going to make a podcast. And I'm going I'm to show people how funny you are. I'm going to show people how crazy you are. I'm going to show people like how cool you are. And it's going to give you a platform. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do no motherfucking podcast, nigga. I'm a motherfucking rapper, nigga. Got millions of dollars. I don't need to talk to other rappers. What the fuck are we talking about? I did the podcast for Mitch. Don't put goddamn three, 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 four hundred thousand dollars in Mitch's pocket. And y'all sitting here talking about something. He disrespecting his friend. And I got, I'm, I fuck, fuck, I ain't fucking with Mitch, bro. I talk, I, I been asleep all day. I wake up to this crazy shit. Mitch, how do, I say, Mitch, how the fuck you didn't go on the internet and tell these folks that we playing, bro? That tweet got goddamn six million views on it. Why the fuck you ain't going there telling folks we playing? Man, it's Twitter, bro. You know how that is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. All right, fuck that then, nigga. Fuck the podcast, nigga. Fuck you. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you and the podcast, nigga. How about that? I don't give a fuck about the podcast, nigga. Fuck the podcast, nigga. And every, and, like, what are we talking about, bro? All I do is help people, bro. I don't get nothing from none of this shit. I help people, bro. All I do is try and help people, bro. The both of them. This care shit is so crazy to me, bro, because it's like, bro, Kara's not a good person. She's nasty. She's like a very disrespectful, rude, egotistical person. I'm talking about, bro, she talk to people like they crazy, bro. Like they nothing. Like they've been, I, I, I've been rich for nine years, bro. I ain't never talked to nobody like they beneath me. I was raised with respect by my parents, bro. I don't talk to people like they, like they, I don't, this money shit ain't nothing. I, I don't ever treat nobody like they less than me. Everyone is equal, bro. Like, I swear to God, bro. I, and I write my own raps, nigga. I write a whole lot of people raps, nigga. What we talking about, bro? I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I ain't never, I ain't never act like somebody was better than me, ever. I ain't better than nobody, nigga. I'm a regular ass nigga, bro. For real, I'm a regular ass nigga. I'm outside, and if any nigga ever was confused or wanted to touch me, nigga, I'm outside. I'm in New York right now. I'm a regular person, but I talk to anybody. I take pictures with anybody. I ain't never shit shit on nobody. What are we talking about, bro? Like you ain't a good person. And your career will not, it, it, sooner or later would have came out that you a terrible person and you shit on people and you treat people like they nothing. And your career would have been done, nigga. I mean, shit, it's, gone, it, it, it's been done, nigga, because you don't write. So, like, nigga, it ain't nothing to it. I, ne I don't ever understand, like, you give somebody a career and then they start to think, like, they really start to think they that person. You got me fucked up, bro. How dare you? How dare you? Hey, besides that, letting people know about it, basically, you know, it could be things like, oh, I do stuff for people, but it this is, can be seen turn as it's like, okay, Yachty is one of those people that because, okay, I do nice stuff for people and it, and, and things will go right or I feel some type of way, whatever the reason is, I want to remind you the nice stuff I've done, not because it kind of, you know, like remind you like I'm nice because I say so. Because I did this shit. I mean, that's what it's giving a little bit, okay? It, it, it's kind of giving, um, like, a, um, you know, since I did this shit for you, you, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, but before we go to this, y'all, um, I'm going to go and show that, like, one of the responses that Kara Wu had uh, uh, said and then it's really it's going to be a real small uh uh uh, 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 uh said and real quick because after him saying that she wrote it he also posted the reference track of what he was talking about the famous um on the radar which i was played earlier you know where um she did a rap with, well he's been known to been a uh, he's songwriter goes right anyway so you know about the part like saying famous i let him tape it or something i'll tell you where we can tape it you know his mouth near near uh, near my anus and it's like okay he's wrote for 
the city girls, you know, uh, like popular songs, act up and blah, blah, blah. So, this is actually not surprising, so to speak. Um, <laughs> so, but, um, besides kind of like, I made y'all and I picked out this and I did this. I don't know if that means it's the rest of the group saying it. I haven't heard or maybe because, you know, of them saying anything. But, like I said, I was a part of the Camille person, but they're going to have a snippet of, like, the kiss cut. I'm like, hey, this is Mitch's cousin and or i mean they i've responded to that question mark because some stuff you know like that not just Lulati said that mitch said like i said he all with mitch um like bitch i guess maybe that's part of the show on quote quote they say space and shit but um on top of that like she even said some stuff that i like once she because she ended up like blocking her page like researching like you know what she said twitter space is kind of like you know you talk or whatever it's kind of like an audio version of going live basically i think that that's what i gather and you can record it. i think you can have the option to record it and people can go back to it or people you know are able to get the clip so yeah she felt some type of way too and she vented vented which whatever but before we go that let's look at what um miss uh caribou has said or Kara, as little Yachty said, uh, uh, said about her. Now she's like this, like on Caribou. Put that on your kid. Little Yachty has one daughter. I ain't write these songs, uh, Miles. That's his government. I heard. Stop the cap and leave me out of your internet shenanigans. Laughing emoji. Um, I'm so lonely. And where's your daddy? I think that on the radar. That's the country side, but that's the one. Now, come to think about it, it is showing on oh, the body, body, let me think. it is circling two songs, but the one that he brought up that she wrote or said, don't rhyme rhymes at all, I guess she's trying to prove don't rhyme rhymes at all, but the one he ended up showing, if you want to be technically, I guess they can say they're both right, because uh, he has the reference track, which the reason why I didn't have to put it up there, because if I put it up there, and even though you could barely hear the song background, the backdrop, and on the radar, and then I put down the radar. I ain't got time for copyright, you know, shit to be or happen to remove it anyway. Uh, stop and then she also said, Stop bullying me, dog. I never said any by letting uh, let uh, said nothing. You letting random fans get into your head, man. Well, the girl did say specifically bullying, and then she exactly used exact word of it. Okay, never mind. But like I said, truth be told, she circled the track she supposedly uh wrote and um but the one that he's you know he said i guess he don't write a rise but he said obviously see some hit back, hit back whatever because he went ahead and um like i said um signed or whatever even though he said like basically she was nothing neither like you no, know, she he said she was wiping tables i guess at a restaurant whatever you know working at a restaurant and he made her assistant uh his assistant and then made a rapper you know uh but um but like i said uh he if he did write the freestyle she's not a man that he didn't because she didn't circle i I don't you see if y'all looking at it it's running late and where's your daddy i never heard of the track now well, but like I said, here go like we already put Mitch on blast about possibly what I was seeing online, his kissing cousin or whatever the hell's going on with him. Kissing cousin situation, whatever. Because like I said, first it would say his girl girlfriend and or the cousin or whatever. And then after her rant live, well, just letting y'all know it's gonna be loud as hell, but let's get into it. To go back to the house, I saw him. What? Oh, yeah, you went to go back to the house. You really are from Alabama. Yo, I didn't explain the story. I didn't. You think I just like, yo, you're my cousin. It isn't like that, bro. I was chilling in the room. Listen, listen. Listen, bro, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. We're chilling in the room. room. And then she and said, she, said she always saying little things. I'm like, and then she said, she man, said, my, 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 my uncle's last, last name is. I'm like, your uncle's last name. What? 
Call my Call mom, my mom like, your like your mom. mom. She said, she said and we go on we Facebook, go on Facebook mutual, mutual friend, friend auntie. auntie. I'm like, yeah, ain't doing nothing. Oh, they fucking oh, they fuck tell us. Oh, oh. Too many times. And they didn't and they stop didn't fucking popping. Yo! Yo, I'm sorry. This shit got me mad as fuck. Like, I'm so, like, and Mitch, I know you finna be mad as hell. I know you finna be mad as hell because you hate when I come to the internet, but I, I can't. Like, this nigga took it to the internet. This nigga boat took it to the internet. So let's take it to the fucking internet because I'm somebody that's been there since 20 the fuck 19. When you put your fucking career to the fucking side to be this nigga's everything, Manager, role manager, creative director, all that shit. Who was fucking sending them meetings? Every time I fucking called my ex-boyfriend, he was in a fucking meeting for your stupid ass. And you gonna sit up here and say, oh, like, all I ever did was help you. Nigga, you hired the nigga. Fuck you mean? That's his job. The fuck is you talking about? Like, you really have some fucking nerve. And and I, bro, I've stayed quiet for fucking years. I, I, ain't, never, I ain't never said shit to this nigga. But high and by when I came over. And I let a lot of shit, like I've been telling Mitch you was a bogus ass nigga. I've been saying that shit. Cause you are, you're a bogus ass nigga. And now it's finally getting fucking exposed, you bitch ass nigga. And I dare you. I fucking dare a motherfucker to say I'm fucking lying. I want somebody to say I'm fucking lying. I want, I want one, I want one of y'all concrete niggas to say I'm fucking lying. Cause I will really get into y'all real tea. Cause you know what? I've been around for years and I've been quiet and I've just been observing and I've just been collecting shit on y'all niggas. Don't fucking make, you don't know what the fuck I know. Don't, don't fucking make me really do it to y'all niggas. Don't make me fucking do it to y'all niggas. With fucking clout. Let's start there. For anybody saying I'm doing this for clout, I don't need fucking clout. If I wanted clout, I would have said something years ago. I was with Mitch from 2019 to 2022. And we are still friends. I just talked to him a couple minutes ago. We're still on good terms. I still talk to him. Take it that what you will. I don't give a fuck. If I wanted clout, I would have been attached myself to this situation. I've been quiet for fucking years. I've literally been quiet for fucking years. And I've been telling... I don't want to say too much. But I've been quiet for fucking years. That's all I'm going to say. So today, when that nigga tried to go and do that live, and he tried to say fuck Mitch, when... I was there. I was there through all the shit that he did for this nigga. For, first of all, for him to sit up there on that podcast and act like nigga, that, that Mitch was just a fucking bomb sitting in his basement is insane. Like, let's start there. Let, let, let's start with that. Like, because this nigga was your everything. Manager, role manager, creative director, all of that shit. Like I said in my voice note, when every time I call my boyfriend or my ex-boyfriend now, but my boyfriend at the time, he was always in a meeting for your stupid ass. He was always doing something for you. So what are you talking about? When I when our first date, I was in the house with that nigga. He was making beats all fucking night. I ain't never seen that nigga make another beat the whole time we was together. You know why? You know why? Because he put his fucking career to the fucking side to support your stupid ass. So for you to sit up there and act like, oh, I've done everything for this nigga, I swear to God, you you really don't you really don't want me to do it to your ass. Because one thing about me, I don't have no fucking reason to lie. I'm not no fucking Instagram model. I'm not no fucking music artist. I'm a regular ass girl with a nine to five job. I don't give a fuck about none of this internet shit. I'll delete, I'll delete my whole account tonight. I don't give a fuck about the internet. I have a real job in real fucking life. I don't give a fuck about this shit. But nigga, you took this shit to the fucking internet. You took this shit to the fucking internet. You talking about fuck Mitch. All I ever did was help him. No, all you ever did was fucking hold him back. All the fuck you ever did was hold him back. Because every time he got an opportunity with somebody else, you would threaten, oh, Nah, you can't do that. You trying to block everything else that he tried to do for himself because all you ever did was fucking use him, nigga. All you ever did was fucking use him. I watched you use him for fucking years and I watched him destroy our fucking relationship to run behind your stupid ass. So yeah, I'm fucking mad. Cause the fucking nerve for you to sit up here and act like that nigga's just a fucking bomb sitting up in your house doing nothing. Then you had that nigga doing everything for you. Like if that nigga was a bomb, why the fuck has he been around since 2015, 2016? You could have been told that, you could have been kicked that nigga to the curb. Nigga, he was around for a fucking reason. He's the reason why you even still relevant in 2024, nigga. The fuck? Let's really get into that. Get into that. Because what? who facilitated that, that Michigan shit? Mitch did that shit. Mitch put you on to them niggas. Let's really get into it. Nigga, that's the whole shit that turned your career career around. Because after Lil Bo 3, was nobody fucking with your ass. Did nobody fuck with that flop ass fucking album, nigga? The fuck? And I dare, I dare a motherfucker to say I'm lying about anything. I don't have no motherfucking reason to lie. I don't have no fucking reason to lie. All y'all sitting up here saying, oh, don't you even know? Yes, I know this fucking nigga. I've been with this nigga for three fucking years. We still are communicating two years later. The fuck, y'all don't know these niggas. Y'all think y'all know somebody off the fucking internet. Y'all don't know shit. Y'all don't know shit that go on behind closed doors. This nigga, y'all, he's a fucking clown. I've been, 
I'm so happy that this day finally came because I've been wanting to clock your feet, nigga. You're a fucking clown. You're a bitch ass nigga. Because this, there's a reason. There's a fucking reason why you want your second, third group of fucking friends, nigga. Because you because you use people and you discard them. That's exactly what the fuck you do. You use people and you fucking discard them. And now I I always told Miss that this fucking day would come. I said this day is gonna fucking come because every time you get an opportunity, he blocking that shit. He don't want to see you succeed. He just want to leech off of you. But this is the thing, right? People think that somebody has money and fame and clout and all this stuff that they don't need anybody else. The only reason why they have that fame and that clout and that success is because of the fucking people around them. You fucking need him, bitch. You fucking needed him. So for you to sit up here and act like, oh, I done done, I put this nigga onto the podcast. Nigga, fuck you, because that podcast wouldn't be shit without him. Don't nobody watch that shit for your mush mouth having ass. Don't nobody watch that shit for you, nigga. People watch that shit for him. And let's really get into this. People really watch that shit because of me. Because you're the one that brought up the fact that I was just the, the cousin shit. You fucking brought that shit up because you wanted to try to fucking clown and humiliate that fucking nigga. And yeah, that shit is about fucking me, nigga. So who's real? So who's really giving you the clout for that podcast? Me, nigga. Because that's the running joke on y'all shit. The fuck? You're a clown. You're a fucking clown ass nigga. And I know, miss, you're gonna be mad as hell. I don't give a fuck because this shit needs to fucking happen. You need to drop that nigga. You been needing to drop that nigga. And you know I've been telling you that. And I ain't never said shit. That's how you know I'm not fucking lying. If I, I, I could have been that shit. I could have fucking been that shit. And I've been quiet. I've been quiet for fucking years. I've been quiet for fucking years. I stayed in the shadows for fucking years. I didn't even, didn't even know this was my fucking boyfriend for fucking years. So fuck is y'all talking about some fucking clout? If I fucking wanted clout, I would have been so John niggas all of this shit. Fuck is you talking about some fucking clout? Okay. Like I said, with that uh response um to her um uh, now Lula, I'll do that a little later on. Now Mitch responded, but it was more so like really just say like as if him and Lil Yachty, which I'll get in a minute explain is still cool. Caribou, I she guess she did constant lad this past week when saying like saying like, you know, say who didn't write what? I guess what she was forming so it's gonna be eleven seconds. Hopefully hopefully you know, you don't hear enough of the song in the background where it's going to make a difference. So, then we'll get, get back to Lil Yachty's sponsor, aka Post of Belief. And I think um, Lil Yachty Lady On still are going back and forth, like saying messages on their stories on IG. I just, oh Jesus, y'all. Let, let's hear the little short cl clip and then do a little read along afterwards. Just, 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 just pure mess, y'all. Just, just, oh, okay, let's go into this little read along about you know the text messages. <laughs> text messages. You know that Mitch says, which has no mission sending uh, Camille who did that rant. And I forgot to mention the question. Like I said, I thought question the cousin because even he said some stuff on the page that we're gonna go into. But anyways, let me stop uh, yapping. Heck, this video is already long enough as usual for this. Hear what he says. You don't hear from me. It's not true. No, bro, never stole from me. Bro never stole from me. We, we had no shady history or anything along with that. So that's Cap. I'm just saying, you know, some people saying so, so whatever. Um, everybody know that me, me that uh, know me, I put in work. Nobody can take that away from me. And he wasn't trying to take that away from me. We were just debating on camera and it got to take out a conscious. Okay, well, so take out a of the way he was talking, but okay. I'm emoji that in the next podcast will be epic. Well, heck, um, this past last weekend has been epic without the podcast, it, whether it returns or not. I don't even think we need a, a guest this time. Laugh out loud. It'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Are they gonna bring up the cuz? I don't know. Are they gonna bring up the caribou? See y'all around. Insert the peak, uh, the thing piece below.
You dumbass broad. Hold on. Bitch. Bitch. You dumb broad. This nigga was telling you lies just to get away from you, ho. What is you talking about, ho? Nigga talking about all the times you called him. He was in meetings. Mitch ain't never did no damn meetings for me, nigga. Fuck is you talk about, nigga? Nigga with me, me, bro, me, bro, stop, stop playing with me, ho. You wasn't, you're not even a factor in this, bro. You was really a bitch that he just used to use to sleep at your motherfucking house, ho. I ain't never stole a dollar from Mitch, nigga. Mitch, Mitch been living with me since the motherfucking 10 years ago, nigga. When I ain't even have a, a cent, nigga. When I lived in my mama house, he lived with me, nigga. How did you talking about, ho? You, you, you really starting some shit you don't know what you talking about. You not even a, you don't know nothing you talking about, ho. What is you, what are you saying, bro? I ain't never stole a dollar from that nigga. If anything, I helped them nigga out. I di- I dare you, Miss. You better get this hoe, bro. You better hit get you better get this hoe, bro. If I really like, really tell it how it is, bro. Nigga ain't never did nothing for me. Fuck is you talking about, hoe? Nigga put this shit to the side for me, hoe. What is you talking about? You got some dirt on me, nigga. Put it on the motherfucking light. If you got some dirt, bring it to the motherfucking light, hoe. So we can really tell everything how it is. We tell everything how it is, hoe. Cause I know about you. You 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 the bitch that just you you gave a nigga a place to sleep. You gave that nigga a place to sleep, ho. You he's leaving your place. To, stop playing with me, ho. You was nothing in this shit, bro. You 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 you. By the way, y'all, this the cousin we be talking about. This the cousin, like from the from the podcast. Talking about the cousin, like the, like the cousins, like 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 ho. You dumb, you weird weird ass bitch. Stop playing with me.